This is Stephanie Schiff, and she's with Go Animate. Hi, Stephanie. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? Real good. Uh, tell us a little bit about Go Animate. What is it? Go Animate is a do-it-yourself animated video creation platform that allows teachers and students to create animated videos with very simple drag-and-drop tools and a school-safe environment. Okay, so before we get into the program itself, I noticed that uh, your literature says stuff like this uh, helps kids with creative thinking. How, how does it do that? So it's a very creative tool. It allows students and teachers to create really interesting um, graphic, visual, uh -huh. colorful things. They have to like um, they have to like uh, storyboard yeah, things out before they do it. Story. They're going to create dialogue. They're going to learn about dialogue writing. They're going to learn about camera motion and about. Um, visual aspects of what they're creating. So instead of writing a paper to tell mm -hmm. a story, they can create a visual story using a tool like this. So the, the end product is still the same. Yes. I mean, that, I mean the, the learning outcome is still the same that you'd want the students to do. Mm -hmm. It's just that the presentation is different than a pen and paper kind of, Absolutely. of thing. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And it's different. It's, so it's different than pen and paper. It's also going to be more more visual and more stimulating than doing something like a PowerPoint presentation. Right, because um, everybody's sick of PowerPoint, right? Well, I have an MBA. It's basically like a master's in PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you have to make to get your MBA? Oh my gosh, at least one or two in every single one. Class, one so. billion. Or, yeah. Okay, so tell, show us a little bit how it works. Yeah, so, <laughs> so this is Go Animate. This is our video maker. Mm -hmm. Everything is drag and drop. So we have all of these different templates. We have characters, props, text options. Uh, we call these widgets. They are animated charts and graphs okay. and a lot of sound options. So, if so I like kids could do like infographics as yes, well. Yes, they it. absolutely okay. can. So if I wanted to pick a background or a template to start off with, all I have to do is click on it. Okay. If I want to move things around in that template, everything in here is customizable. So all I have to do is drag and drop everything around. Can I delete characters as well absolutely. if I want? Like if I want to get rid of that teacher. Yeah. You know, okay. There we go. Just Boom. Now the class is fun. <laughs> All of our characters walk, talk, and lip sync. So if we wanted this guy to walk in the room, we uh -huh. can add some movement here and have him walk. And walking is very simple. It's a nice little motion path. So we can choose where we want him to start, and we'll choose where we want him to end up. Come on. So animation is really big. I mean, animation is uh, really popular with kids. Do you find that there's like a particular grade level that likes animation? Is it everybody? Is it? Yeah, so what we've seen is uh, all students, students at all grade levels are using this tool. Mm -hmm. So we have students at kindergarten level, we have students in college who are using this as well. Um, we've seen kind of... What are they doing in college? Well, they, they're creating um, in place of PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of PowerPoint, make a video and Yay, yes. get rid of PowerPoint. <laughs> PowerPoint. And okay. so what we're seeing is um, the middle grades are responding very well to this. Um, animation is very engaging for students and so once they hit you know, around the upper elementary school area and all throughout middle school and through high school, really seeing them respond really well to creating something like this. So, so the the interface, mm -hmm. you, would you say that it's like upper elementary to middle school is a good starting point yeah, for this? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. We do have kindergartners using the site, on, just not maybe to the full extent of what okay. it's capable of doing. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to point out here is we have dialogue options. So the students can record their own voices if they want the characters to speak. Uh, we also have text-to-speech. They can type in their audio. A computer-generated voice will speak it back. Sounds a little bit like your GPS, so the kids seem to really love That's it. Funny. I, th and I thought you said... Texas speech, oh, no. and so I thought, no. well, it's got some like crazy <laughs> accent on it. So it's it got, can. One of our y'all is called Dallas, I believe. Oh, get out of here! That's hilarious. So it says y'all and some, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. There you go. So all you have to do is you know you type in your text, and the character speaks it. Um, the great thing about Texas speech is that it has oral implications to the grammar and the spelling. So if the students misspell a word, the character won't say it correctly. If they mispunctuate a sentence, then the character won't speak it properly, so they can hear their grammar and their spelling. Which so can really they great. type it out phonetically? It'll, spell, it'll text if it out phonetically? If they type it phonetically, the characters will speak it. So if I, I write F-O-N, it'll say phone, right? I don't know. Let's find out. That's right. There you go. That's a good Volume. question, eh? Yeah. Fawn. It'll say Fawn. Fawn. Oh, close enough, yeah. <laughs> okay. Put an E at the end of it, maybe he'll say Fawn. Oh. Yep. There you go. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's really interesting. Can you show me just a really short example of uh, something that some kids have Absolutely. done? Absolutely. So I'm going to 
going to show you... Not something that Stephanie's done. No, something I'm going to show you something that one of our sweet Betsy students have created. And teachers can use this, too, to, uh, to yeah, illustrate totally. points, make it a little bit more interesting than a PowerPoint. We're seeing student, or teachers flipping their classroom with this tool um, in place of being on the screen and creating videos for their students to watch at home. They're creating animated. And so they look like this guy right here. You know, right there. He's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, there he is. That's him. He's it. There you go. Yeah, this is a PSA that a middle school student in Massachusetts created on cyberbullying. What the heck? Why would they see that? Oh no, everyone is going to make fun of me now. This could be worse. Oh, she must have felt horrible. After all, they are cyberbullying her. I really should go help her. Um, are you alright? I saw what they were doing online. They are cyberbullying you. Wait. Do you have these examples online so yeah, that teachers can see? So yeah. These are on our blog. We've had a bunch of teachers write guest posts for us and tell us how their students are using GoAnime and what they're creating with the tool. So animation is really a cool tool for kids to use. Now, why? Okay, so here's my here's my nuts and bolts question. Excellent. Like, I know there's a lot of free tools yes. to animate, and GoAnimate, obviously, is a, it, it there's a cost associated. So why would I... Why would I pay when I can get something for free? You know? Great question. Uh, what we've seen with a lot of the free sites, and when we used to have free accounts, we definitely saw this with ours as well, um, is they're not safe for kids. Yeah. So we've built a completely school safe platform. We've been able to completely eliminate cyberbullying on our website. Uh -huh. uh, we've been able to keep the children safe. When you have a free account, um, on another site. You never know what you're going to get. You never know right? what you're going to get. You never know who you're going to talk to and you need an email address. So on our site, the teacher creates the subscription for them and the students and those kids don't need email addresses. They don't even need names on the site. So about how much is it uh, what what what's the uh, what's the cost of Go Animate? So roughly one, one to $2. billion dollars. <laughs> yes, for everyone. One billion dollars per student. <laughs> yes, it's roughly one to two dollars per user per year, depending on the size of the subscription. Okay, and so in, can individual teachers yep. get a subscription? So I'm of course I'm sure districts or schools could do it as well, yes, right? Absolutely. So. so it's it's definitely kind of a pick your poison kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We have individual teacher accounts for just a teacher and no students, and we have a rate calculator on our site. So Go Animate can be used by one class. It can be used by a full grade level or department, a full school, or a full district. Okay. And if somebody's interested, where do they go? They go on our website. It's GoAnimateForSchools.com. GoAnimateForSchools.com. Yeah, with the number four up there. All right, I'm going to zoom in. There we go. GoAnimateForSchools.com. We have our demo video right on the site. They can get a quote from there, get started. And we have a 14-day free trial that they can sign up for on this, or that they can, yeah, that they can sign up for on this page um, that'll give them and 49 students access to the site for 14 full days so they can have some students pilot that. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning about Go Animate. You're the first power uh, podcast of the day. Love Congratulations. It. Yay. You did it without coffee. <laughs> Say hi to El Paso, Texas. Hello, El Paso. Yay. Thanks a lot. Thank